Oh, um, hey everybody, how's it going? It's Kellen here, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I was gonna make this into an Instagram video, and I've been making videos all night, but I wanted to make this into a YouTube video, because I knew it was probably gonna be long as fuck, or at least longer than a minute, and I don't feel like recording multiple videos, um, even though I already did tonight, but still, that took a lot out of me. But still, um, my friend, uh, Sasha... Uh, sent me a video on TikTok, and it was this girl, um, she was showing her dad's truck, and it had, it had three flags on the back. One of them, I think, was the American flag, I couldn't really see it. One of them was Blue Lives Matter, I'm pretty sure, and one of them was, of course, uh, a Trump flag. And the whole, the, the, uh, the whole video, um, she was basically saying, um, okay, well, me and my dad have different political views, and he really likes driving around with his flags and stuff, but I still love him, love him and support him no matter what. And people in the comments, and they, and they were all liked by the creator I saw, at least as far as I scroll down. Um, uh, they were all being like, and that's on maturity. And of course, around maturity, uh, this is TikTok we're talking about. Um, <laughs> um, around maturity, there, there were those, uh, sprinkle emojis, or sparkle emojis, I mean. And, I f first off, I fucking hate that sparkle shit. Hey, bro, anytime somebody puts sparkles around a word, first off, it's always around the stupidest shit. I mean, okay, side tangent, but it's always around the stupidest shit that they do that with. It's always all like, um, you're spicy white. Girl, you are Scottish. You are Scottish American. I'm spicy white. He's spicy white. Oh my god. You're Italian. And you look, you do not look like one of those tan Italians either. okay <laughs> it's always around that shit or i'm spicy straight which nobody says this anymore because everybody realized it was fucking stupid but that was if you if you missed out on that somehow um it was basically usually it was basically only girls saying this um i saw but it'd be girls saying about how they didn't want to be straight and and that they just think girls are really pretty but they but they don't want to date them that's just finding other people attractive okay like what the fuck I d that doesn't mean shit you're allowed to find people in your gender attractive even if you aren't attracted to them <laughs> that does not mean you're spicy fucking anything shut the fuck up you're straight and you and, and you have eyes <sighs> they always fucking put the sparkle shit around the dumbest fucking shit but anyway back onto it they were like that's not being mature no <laughs> okay let me let, let me stop but and then and then uh, it, it was either those comments and then i also saw some that were all like this is what america should be like this is what america should be about you we we, we shouldn't judge people fuck on other people's opinions and we should just be able to coexist That's what America should be like. <laughs> anyway, um, before I get on to my opinion, really, um, it's giving, I'm not sure if y'all saw this, if y'all have Twitter, then y'all probably saw this, but on Twitter, and I only saw screenshots of the interaction, but... Um, this girl, um, it, a completely other girl, um, her parents are also Trump supporters and they have Trump signs in their front yard and she put on the back of the Trump signs, um, saying, um, not everybody in this house supports this Oompa Loompa. And, and, it, and it was like a poster on the back of the signs and everybody was all like, oh, what, oh, what, what the fuck does that mean and of course you know people in the replies was dogging on their fucking parents being like your parents are fucking trump supporters like just because you don't like him like girl check your fucking parents and like in the replies um the original poster she was all like um basically i can't really remember it you know word for it but it was like it was like three 
three other tweets of her and the replies being all like okay guys they're my parents though and i'm gonna love them no matter what and it, it's it's okay that you know they're you, you know they have different political views than me so i don't want to hear any of you guys riding on my parents like they are my parents and i love them and i and i won't take any critique or hate um um on, on my parents i i won't allow it it was something it was something to the effect of that <sighs> Both of those things, the fucking tweet and the TikTok I mentioned at the vi uh, at the beginning of the video, both just fucking lipped hard. I'm sorry, like it, it's it's lip hard. Okay, I I know I'm a supporter. Uh, I I don't like blue lives matter. I don't like shit like that. Um, it's so it's so liberal. It's so it's so white liberal. It's so fucking bad. No, okay, I'm. Mm. Sorry, it's my piercing, y'all. It's fucking... Like, it's not all the way healed yet. Like... It's, like, healed enough, but... Not all the way... Oh, my God, that fucking hurts. Like, sometimes when I, like, push it down, it feels so fucking horrible. Mmm, <sighs> still hurts. I might need to just replace the fucking jewelry. <laughs> with the normal fucking jewelry again. But anyway... What I was saying... Um... Was that... N no it's not being mature okay be okay having different opinions and i mean this is not an original thought i'm having here y'all most people with the fucking brain think this way having different opinions on things and still being able to be friends and support each other is like disagreeing on y'all's favorite ice cream like for example me i've like chocolate ice cream my friend whoever the fuck you know hates chocolate ice cream thinks is the worst fucking thing in the world we can still be friends because like it's just fucking ice cream that's that's a fucking opinion and that's okay if you fucking hate chocolate ice cream cool if you like chocolate ice cream like me also cool okay that's not any reason why anybody should stop being friends and you're also not being mature just because y'all can be friends and have this different thing different thing opinion um, but anyway, okay, a difference in opinion does not come down to human rights in, you know, Trump especially. Um, Trump or, or Blue Lives Matter, anything like that, no. Okay, l okay let me tell y'all something about Blue Lives Matter, because I, you know, I shouldn't have to explain this at this fucking point, but you know what, I am. Um, just to get my argument across, but, you know, I saw, I saw something a while back, maybe a couple months ago, that said, stop fucking explaining Black Lives Matter to white people, because at this point, you should fucking know what it is, and what it means, and if you don't agree with it at this point, then you are racist, and it's dumb, but anyway, again, I do agree with that, but I will be explaining, because I, just, you know, just, just for the sake of explaining, Blue lives matter does not exist. Blue lives do not fucking exist. How many times do y'all have to fucking hear this? Blue lives don't fucking exist. It's a job. It is a job. You are blue um, 40 fucking hours of the week. Black people are black all the time. Your blue life does not fucking matter because it does not exist. Stop bringing fake fucking color. I mean, this is kind of, I mean, not, not okay, this is not as bad, but... It's like it's it's like when whenever people say that that they aren't racist and and they're always all like I I I I don't care if you're white black yellow red blue purple yellow I mean just all the fucking colors in the rainbow once you start adding imaginary colors your argument fucking sucks like this girl in my tenth grade class did that and she's also a Trump supporter who would have fucking thought but um I I had overheard her saying that shit at, at one point I I I don't care if you are white black blue green. Who the fuck is blue and green? <laughs> Who the fuck is blue and green? It, it, it ruins your whole fucking argument. So, I don't know. If you, for some reason, ever need to prove to people that you're not racist. First off, how the fuck are you in a situation where you have to prove yourself that you're not racist? You did something racist. You did something racist. That's what happened. You did something racist. <laughs> Alright? So, you can try to defend yourself. But if... If for some reason this ever comes up where you have to defend yourself 
from not being racist if when you start bringing in the imaginary colors it destroys your argument and you are going to look fucking stupid and racist on top of that it's it just kind of like what what i know i know you lie but anyway back on the blue lives matter oh okay blue lives do not fucking exist Blue lives do not exist. You are blue 40 hours of the fucking week. Take off the fucking uniform. Mm. Is that my brother talking to me? I don't know. Well, I think he's talking to my other brother. Okay. But anyway. Ooh. But anyway. Again, if you don't want to be blue, take off the fucking uniform. Because I'm just... Oh, okay. It's off now. I'm not blue anymore. I'm... I don't know. Probably white. You can just stop. Like, you can literally just stop fucking being blue. Um, or just don't be a police officer in the fucking first place. But black people, like... I mean, like, even black people who bleach their skin still look black. They just look weird black. And, like, I know it's sad that people... Like, some people feel like they have to bleach their skin. So, like, I'm not gonna go too much into that. But still, if you are black, you are black. Like, even if you are, like, albino, like... Uh, like, albino black people still look black. So what What are we not getting? So no, your blue life does not fucking exist. I don't give a fuck if it's your fucking dad or your fucking uncle. I don't give a fuck. His, I, his, his blue life does not fucking matter and he should quit his fucking job at this point. Why the fuck are you still a police officer? Grow up. Literally grow up. But anyway, um, so no, if some, if, if, I mean, like, for example, if my father was riding around with a Blue Lives Matter flag on the back of his truck or, or car, whatever the fuck, I, I, I would not be pleased and I would not like my father really that much, okay? <laughs> like, let's be honest, I wouldn't be like, I, I still support him though. I'll start supporting my father again once he, you know, would start thinking like a fucking person with a brain, all right? But no, I'm not gonna be mature, whatever the fuck. No, that no, that's not being mature. That's not being mature. That is that how how do I describe it? That is like purposefully I don't know, being being blind just because, you know, you care about them and, and, and you don't want I, I I don't know how to fucking describe it. It's okay, being ignorant. It's being ignorant. It's called being fucking ignorant. Um because, again, this is not Blue Lives Matter or Make America Great Again. It's not a fucking opinion where it's all, like, um, you know, disagreeing on what ice cream fla uh, favor flavors, fuck, are good. It is Blue Lives Matter. If you support Blue Lives Matter, you're racist, period. You cannot support Blue Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter. That's impossible. I'm, I don't know if anybody was confused about that, but those are two fucking opposing things. If you like Black Lives Matter, you're, you could still be racist towards other races, but you are probably not racist towards black people. If you like Blue Lives Matter, then you are racist towards black people, at least. And probably towards other races too, probably not just black people. Okay, so let's, I mean, let's get that straight. And that's for Make America Great Again. At this point, if you still support Trump, shut the fuck I mean, literally, I, I don't I don't like you at all. I mean, Blue Lives Matter, already bad enough. And then you like Trump on top of that? Pick a goddamn struggle. Oh, I, it's just so fucking bad. And a lot of, like, uh, fucking Trump supporters like to always, like, say that uh, Joe Biden is, uh, a pedophile, and, and, and this is kind of also a side tangent, and they, um, there are, like, <laughs> Joe Biden is a, is a pedophile, whatever, um, I'm not gonna act like I had never seen a picture of Joe Biden being weird with kids, but are we going to pretend like that comment Trump made about wanting to date his daughter if she wasn't, his daughter doesn't exist, like, that's his own fucking kid. Like, and he also has a share fair of pictures that are weird with kids just like fucking Joe Biden. Um, also, was this just a fucking dream I had? Weren't there multiple documents? I think they were released by Anonymous where they were, I'm sorry, R word mentioned, uh, trigger warning. He, he had raped, like, 
I, I want to say two to three kids. I, I can't remember. I, one of them was a girl and then one of them was a boy. I know I didn't I didn't read all of them, but like it was like I think with the girl, it was multiple times. I think it was like five encounters with it was it was, you know, she was like tied onto the bed. She was like 12. It was Trump raping her. And also, I think Epstein was there too. Dog, did we do we not know who Jeffrey Epstein is? He was literally in <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein's black book. So if we want to use the pedophile argument, like, there's a lot of shit against Trump more than there is Joe Biden. And, I, and I'm not going to make this a Joe Biden versus Trump thing, but that's just something I wanted to bring up. Because it's just hypocrisy. Um, did we forgive grabber by the pussy? That's not fucking okay to say. I, I don't I don't know if, like everything that Joe Biden has said. Like I, I don't really know why I'm comparing them. Like, settle for fucking Biden if you're eligible to vote. Settle for Biden. I'm not. I can't vote. So, but really... Really grabbed by the pussy. And, like, he's just said multiple times just constant, just horrible things about women. Like, it's, like if you're a woman supporting Trump, what? He does not like you. And then, this is, like, let me see if I can explain this well enough. Because, like, I just thought of this and, like, my brain's not really clear right now. Um, or at least it's not clear on this subject, but it was, it was like, um, you know, a lot of people on the left will, like, la make fun of Melania, kind of, like, she's literally married to Trump, like, okay, so yeah, we fucking are, and then, and then Trump's boys will, 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 like, be like, you're making fun of an immigrant, you make fun of an immigrant, and it's like, y'all don't even really like immigrants like that, pick one, pick one. That was just something else too, but it's like, no, you cannot support Trump and be my friend. I'm so sorry about it. And again, if one of, if like my father, for example, like I, I just keep using him because, um, you know, in the TikTok, it was the girl's father. But yeah, if, yeah, if my father was, you know, a Trump supporter, like the Blue Lives Matter, I would really dislike him. I, I wouldn't be like, I, well, I still love and support him no matter what. No, nigga, I don't, I, I wouldn't support him. Because that's bullshit. Grow the fuck up and start effing learning. Because if you literally learn about fucking anything, you'd probably be on the left anyway, of the political spectrum. You'd probably be a communist. Just saying. Or a Marxist, if you want to call it that. Just saying. Just saying. But <laughs> anyway, um... No, so it's not being mature. That's not- I'm not gonna be mature about that. What are we not getting? What are we not getting? It's not being mature to support your parents or whatever the fuck that like Trump. You shouldn't support them. You should not support them because you're encouraging that behavior even, even, even if you disagree with their beliefs, if you're, like, also support and love them, no, you need to fucking make them realize that their way of thinking fucking sucks, and it's not, you know, this is how America should be, us being able to coexist, um, with different, uh, beliefs, no, different fucking beliefs is, uh, you know, the fucking ice cream example I brought up now three fucking times in this video, like, that's, that's, that is a good different belief. That's a good different belief. Fucking what pizza toppings you like? What fucking pizza company you like most? Like, what fucking grocery store you prefer going to? Like, what clothing brand you like the most? Like, the bro, like, those are opinions that, yay, yay, differences. You know, uh, somebody, somebody who, you know, like, fashion style, I guess. You know, like, somebody who likes that kind of basic, you know, white girl style. Like, you know, being friends with somebody who's, like, completely goth, you know, like, crazy, you know, outrageous style. Um, you know, somebody being friends with somebody who likes, you know, rap music pretty much primarily. In, and, like, they're all, they're being friends with somebody who likes metal primarily. Like, you know, I mean, just shit like that. That is, or, or I mean, like, I mean, like, even, even if, um religions you know a christian you know coexisting greatly with um, a muslim a saint worshiper watch my last video <laughs> um you know um um a saint worshiper 
you know, a Buddhist, whatever. I mean, I mean that that is okay. That is great opinions. Um, but being able to, I mean, coexisting with somebody who believes in blue lives matter and um, MAGA. No, that's not what that means. That's not what that means, and y'all got me fucked up. In fact, y'all got everybody fucked up because obviously, no, no, go out and learn, read, fucking read, because that is not what that means. That is not what anybody means when they say that shit. This is more just different political blues. These are fucking human right things. Again, if you support Blue Lives Matter, you are racist. You do not like black people. You do not support black people. Because again, at this point, you should know what fucking Black Lives Matter stands for. It does not mean that only black lives matter. It means that y'all don't give a fuck enough about black lives that we have to remind you that black lives matter. So you want to fucking say all lives matter? Again, I mean, people people, time and time again have found great analogies and examples to use for all lives matter to prove that that shit does not make any fucking sense. And look, you only say all lives matter when you are talking about black lives matter. Like, always, always your fucking rebuttal. Of course, we all know fucking all lives matter. Dumb ass. Nobody's saying only black lives matter. But, black, I mean, like, this was in response to police brutality. Um, you know damn well. I mean, Breonna Taylor, like. Come on. What, I mean, what more do you want me to say about it? Black people get killed by police unjustably. Is that a word? Unjust? I, I don't know. But just, you know, just for shit fucking reason. First off, okay, the police should not be killing people like that. Like, I mean, like, okay. I mean, I know I should not have to fucking explain this to y'all. I should not fucking have to explain this to y'all. Y'all should know what the fuck is going on at this point. It's, tw- it is, it's nearly the end of 2020. And you still want to say that supporting somebody... Um, who likes Blue Lives Matter and MAGA, even though you don't, is just being mature and being able to coexist. No, it's fucking not. And you, I mean, you, you are just as bad as them. You are just as bad as them because you are enabling it. Just because you love them and they're your parents or, or, or they're your friend or something like that, that does not mean, no, because you're encouraging that shit. Just like I've already said, you're fucking encouraging it. Okay, let me stop. Um, before I go on for too long, but like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and subscribe, and get notified when I post, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.